let's quickly go to the Tamale South constituency where minority leader Haruna Idrisu has been declared winner. Our correspondent Martina Bogri standing by with him now. Where minority leader Haruna The mandate under Article 45 to supervise and conduct these elections. Uh, you'd notice that for the Tamale South constituency, this is the most peaceful, quiet, serene environment of a coalition center because we do not believe that we should be interfering with the work of our institutions and men and women dedicated to do their job in accordance with law. Uh, understandably, I've just been declared the MP elect for Tamale South with 69,307 votes. It was expected, and therefore, I want to dedicate this to the chiefs and people of Tamale South and to assure them that I would continue to reflect and mirror their needs and aspirations as I advocate for an improvement in their quality of life as a people and advocate for improved infrastructure, whether in health or education or in other social uh, sectors. But I'm compelled to address the media on an important development in the Savlugu constituency, where an official of the Electoral Commission by name Ishmael Kwashi, yesterday on his own and deliberately, in order to impugn the integrity of the outcome of the parliamentary elections in Savlugu and the parliamentary elections decided to add one or two additional ballot papers to the presidential ballot. He's not been arrested. He has to be in accordance with law. That's fraudulent. That's criminal under CI 127. And he must be dealt with in accordance with the law of laws of Ghana. As an electoral officer, his is to police the integrity of the poll, not to compromise its integrity. But even what is more worrying is the fact that the Electoral Commission has told counting because the NDC candidate was leading. My father, Idris Ngumbiangpan, was leading. And therefore, only one polling station is outstanding, Kadia, in the Savlugu constituency. As a matter of agency, I've heard even the Electoral Commission saying that they want to do that tomorrow. Do what tomorrow? The Electoral Commission must be reminded that they govern and supervise elections in accordance with law. CI 127 provide elaborate provisions how to resolve conflicts at the polling center, how to resolve dispute when it gets to coalition and counting. We will not accept this being deferred to tomorrow. And we want the rightful candidate declared accordingly to reflect the sovereign will of the people of Savlugu. Any attempt by the Electoral Commission to survey this will be resisted forcefully by us as a political party and as a people. And therefore, the electoral commissioner chairperson must call Ishmael Kwashi to order. All other electoral officers in Savlugu must be called to order, including the district and regional officers of the electoral commission. And to the chairperson of the electoral commission herself, she must be adequately apprised of the law that as returning officer for the presidential elections, it does not lie within her to use email results to declare any results. The law provides one, constituency coalition, two, cumulatively constituency will accumulate into a regional collated resource, into a national resource, not an email resource. Any resource to be declared by the electoral commissioner must provide in detail, presential, Constituency by constituency, certified results authenticated by all the political parties for the constituency and further authenticated at the regional level, reflecting the number of constituencies in that region by the creation of CI 127 and all other laws to reflect the outcome of the election. We're not going to accept any email transmission of uh, results. We want certified copies of validated qualitative results, constituency by constituency, culminating in a regional output, which regional output must feed a national output. So when you are declaring the results, per every constituency, like Tamale South, we want to see Nana Dudankwa, uh, 25,000. 
John Mahama, 67,000 in detail. Same must be done for all other constituencies in that region. Not anybody sending an email to any officer somewhere and the person purporting to declare resource based on email resource. We don't want what happened in the United States to happen in Ghana. We don't want any subversion of the sovereign will of the people of Ghana. I thank now, you. You just mentioned that you will resist any attempt. What do you mean in the Savilugu constituency? We want the sovereign will of the people of Savilugu to be respected, nothing more. <laughs> And that was Minority Leader of Parliament, Haruna Idrisu, after um, his declaration as winner. He raised some concerns about the mode of transmission of the electoral results, the uh, collated results from the constituencies to the regional um, coalition centres. His concern is that some of these results are being um, transmitted via email, and he says it will not be accepted by the NDC. And he is serving notice there, engaging journalists uh, like my colleague Martina Bogri um, there after he was declared winner. But this is your election headquarters. A lot happening uh, in the past few hours. We've been getting the results. We've been populating our smart wall here. As you can see, the map is beginning. The, the, the story is beginning to come out. And you look at the Upper West region, for instance. Uh, you look at the Upper West region, for instance, and we just have some two seats to go, apart from Nadoli Kalio, which, you know, is the seat of the current um, second deputy speaker of parliament, Alban Bagbin, and Dafiama Busiesa. Almost all the seats have come through, and it looks like the NDC has really made a strong showing in there. Um, one of such... One of such constituencies is Laura. Laura is where the Deputy Roads Minister, Anthony Carbo, um, was. He has lost it. I want to quickly bring you the parliamentary seats uh, results there so that I can show you what happened there. However, in the Nandom constituency, Ambrose Derry, the Minister for Interior, has won, in spite of the fact that President Ekufuado won there in the presidential tally. Lambusi Kami has also seen uh, Bache Baligi winning in spite of the fact that President Ekufado lost in the presidential. And Sisala East, uh, Kinsley Kasim, uh, was actually second for the PNC. But the winner there, um, we understand it's, it's showing blue. So the winner there, we understand, is the NPP. Um, yes, 